What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the new lipstick releases from Annabelle Cosmetics. I don't normally delve into the Annabelle brand too much. There's just so many other makeup brands that I reach for. But when I saw their new lipstick display at Shoppers Drug Mart, I couldn't help but just be attracted to it. So of course, I went over and I started playing with all of the different colors and the testers that they had, and I fell in love with these beautiful, bold spring and summer colors. Now, Annabelle did collaborate with a, I believe, Canadian designer designer by the name of Haley Elsicer. I think that's how you say her name. And this is called the Outrageous Collection. So I only picked up three of the lipsticks, but there are six in total. Each of these lipsticks is priced at $10.49 each. So they're not super cheap, but they're also not super expensive. But when you tally a total of three up, that's around 30 some odd dollars. So that's about all I was willing to spend on new lipsticks. I'm going to insert some swatches now so you guys can see the colors that I picked up. absolute favorite out of the entire collection and it's probably because of its versatility and the fact that it reminds me of a shadow. It was a limited edition shadow that MAC released about a year ago now called Boom Boom Room. Oh my god, I was obsessed with that color. Um, it is this one here in the blue tube called Banana Yana. I love it because it's got this purple hue to it but it also has these really great pink and purple and blue reflex in it and it just ends up looking absolutely stunning. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I love that it gives your lips just a beautiful sheen. It almost looks like you're wearing a gloss but you're not. Even though this lipstick does have glitter in it, it doesn't feel gritty. You know the Jouer lip toppers, they've got all of that heavy glitter in it and it feels gritty on your lips. This one here does not. It just feels very smooth and creamy. I absolutely love it. And the best part about this lipstick is that you can wear it alone, obviously the way I did here, but you can also wear it as a lipstick topper to anything else. And in the swatches that you guys just saw, I did put it on as a lipstick topper to the other two shades that I have, and I just think it made those two shades look even better. One of the other shades that I loved, and I actually went back to go buy this lipstick because I wasn't sure how I would feel about more purple lipsticks, but the more I kept swatching watching it on my hand, the more I realized, you know what, it's actually not that bad. And when I put it on, I liked it even more on my lips. Um, and it's called a Bugging Out Plum. The name just kills me. Um, <laughs> bugging Out Plums, and you've got a bunch of cucarachas on this uh, lipstick tube here, which, you know, I'm not a fan of cucarachas, but this color... Mm, yes, please. These are so pigmented. With one swipe, you get such incredible color payoff. And even though this looks super purple in the tube, it actually comes out looking a lot lighter, more towards a pink tone. Every time I look at this color, I'm actually reminded of drinking Kool-Aid. And you know how your lips and sometimes your tongue gets stained with whatever Kool-Aid you are drinking? I feel like this is the purple Kool-Aid and your lips are just stained with this color. It's so beautiful. 
beautiful, so flattering. And what I love about the formula of these lipsticks is that they are super comfortable. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips. It's nice and creamy and hydrating, and they don't pill on the sides. The color wears evenly throughout the day, but it does fade pretty quickly, of course, when you do start eating, so just be mindful of that. Um, Reapplication, though, was super easy, and it does layer really nicely on top of itself. And lastly, I have Cactus Hibiscus, which is such a pretty bright pink color. This is definitely neon. This is something that is so outside of my comfort zone in terms of a lipstick, but I love it. The minute I put this on my lips, I was just fascinated by the color and how beautiful it looked. It wore so evenly. There was even application, no patchiness, nothing. And within one swipe, you got full opacity. I am absolutely obsessed with these lipsticks and this outrageous collection. I think Annabelle had a very successful collaboration with Haley on these and I would love to go and pick up the remainder that I do not have in my possession but I'm gonna wait until they go on sale because $10.49 each is a little bit up there in price and honestly I'm pretty happy with the three that I have. Let me know in the comment section if you've had a chance to try out these Annabelle lipsticks and if you have what did you think? Also, let me know what some of your favorite bold lipstick colors are because these are definitely bold and I understand why they call them the Outrageous Collection. And that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also connect with me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I'm going to link everything for you in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching this lipstick review. I hope you're all having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.